on time and regular screening is key to preventing and treating colon cancer. But who should get screened? What does insurance cover? What screening options are there? And how often should you get screened? Who should get screened for colon cancer? People with a family history of colon cancer. People diagnosed with certain digestive disorders and some inherited cancer syndromes. People 45 and older and anyone, regardless of age, with symptoms of colon cancer. What does insurance cover? Insurance coverage for colon cancer screening is required by the Affordable Care Act. Patients 45 and older with an average risk for developing colon cancer are covered or will be covered soon. Talk to your insurance company to check your coverage. What screening options do I have? There are two main screening techniques, visual screening and stool-based screening. In general, visual screening is more thorough, but stool-based screening can be more convenient. A colonoscopy is a visual screening technique where your doctor uses a scope to look for evidence of cancer. A colonoscopy is widely considered to be the gold standard for colon cancer detection because it allows your doctor to visually inspect the rectum and the colon. A colonoscopy can also prevent cancer by removing precancerous growths or polyps before they can become cancer. Before your appointment, you will need to complete a full colon prep. A CT colonography, also referred to as virtual colonoscopy, is a visual screening technique that uses CT scanning to put together a digital picture of the large intestines. This procedure isn't as invasive as a full colonoscopy, but still requires a full colon prep. A sigmoidoscopy is a visual screening technique that is more or less a partial colonoscopy. It focuses on examining the rectum and part of the colon. This procedure requires a full colon prep. Stool-based screening techniques are a convenient way to screen people who have no symptoms and no family history of colon cancer. These screening kits don't require a colon prep. If your provider finds any concerning results, further testing, including a colonoscopy, becomes necessary. Once you determine the right method for your screening, when should you schedule your screening? Doctors recommend people get their first screening at age 45. If no signs of colon cancer are detected and you have no family history, you should be screened again in one to 10 years, depending on the screening method you used. If areas of concern are detected during your exam or you have certain pre-existing conditions, your doctor will recommend the appropriate follow-up steps for you. If you want to learn more about colon cancer, visit our website at coloncancercoalition.org.